Hi, I'm Joe Heaton, Product Specialist for Neve, and we're here at our Burnley headquarters on our exhibition floor next to the Genesis console. Now, one of the unique things about this console is that it's a purely analog signal path, but completely digitally controlled. So our team wanted to develop a 88R console. That's the console that you'll see at Abbey Road uh, Studios and Capital in the States. And that huge console that's used for recording pop music, uh, orchestral scoring, basically it's world renowned for being the best analog console possible. And we wanted to shrink that technology down into a smaller console that can be used in any size studio. So that's what we did with the Genesis. Um, we managed to make the EQ and the dynamics that you find on the 88R console fully digitally controlled. So not only does that shrink the channel strip, but it also enables automatic reset and recall of all of your EQ settings, things that would normally take a lot of time in a studio. And it allows us to do clever things like automate that EQ and automate those dynamics as well as automate the faders. So effectively, this is a fully digitally controlled analog console. Now, we also manufacture these in different sizes. So you'll see here, this is a 48 channel console and the, we start from 16 channels. So this is the 16 channel base frame in the center here. So this could be ideal for uh, bedroom producers or um, even small production facilities. Ed O'Brien, the guitarist from Radiohead, recently installed a 16 channel in his home studio and he absolutely loves the Genesis console, loves the sound of it. From that size, we can expand the console in 16 channel baskets and you can see here, we have one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side going all the way up to 48 channels, but we could go even bigger with this. With the Genesis console, we could go all the way up to 64 channels, making this a large format console once again. So you're getting into 88R territory, uh, even, with, even with this digitally controlled analog console. The preamps on the console, again, are fantastic sounding digitally controlled pre's. They are 1073's that we have built into the Genesis, but they're controlled via this stepped encoder right here. So again, that means it's fully recallable, but you're still getting all the benefits of the Mariner transformer on that front end. As well as being an analog console, it is a full DAW controller. So you can connect this up to multiple DAWs, could be Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, any of the DAWs that you're working with nowadays, and have full fader control, transport control over all of your sessions. Now, in the center section here, we have a full busing system with mono groups, um, mix bus uh, insert options with including a parallel processing option uh, that you can apply to your mix bus to give you some nice flavor uh, going out of your two bus and all of the monitoring features that you'd expect to see on a large format console uh, four different speaker sets for example and the Atmos upgrade expands the mixing capabilities of this console even further so if you wanted to use an analog console but mix in full Dolby Atmos surround you can do that with the Genesis or Genesis Black console. Because the EQ and the dynamics on the console are digitally controlled, we can actually control them from a plugin within your favorite DAW. So you can automate all of the console's analog features from within Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, or any of the DAWs you're working with currently. In addition to the analog options, we also have a digital converter option for the console, which turns the Genesis into its own audio interface. All of these options make the Genesis console one of the most powerful studio consoles on the market today. Thanks for checking out the Genesis console with me. If you'd like to learn more about the Genesis, Genesis Black console, or any of the Neve consoles, reach out to your Sweetwater sales engineer or check out sweetwater.com.